everybody! Welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome, welcome to Saturday Morning Dooger! Where things always go correctly and we never have problems. <laughs> Beep. Hello everyone! Hi! Did we all get some sleep after that stream yesterday? Did we all get some Z's? Are we all refreshed and ready for the day? <laughs> Unmuted? That's a first. I know, right? Normally it's the opposite problem. I bring up the camera and I'm accidentally muted. That's happened a few times. <laughs> Don't play Streamline yet, it's downloading still. We always we always chit chat for a while. Don't worry, there's still time. There's still time. I came in a gynecologist. What's happening? Look. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> Stream was great. I slept through the night. I'm so glad. Yeah, I had a really good time on that stream too. I thought it was I thought it was fun. Super super fun. Um so that you guys know ahead of time, I'm going to be playing Streamline after we're done with chit chat time. Normally we chit chat for like an hour. So, if you would like to play Streamline with me, I've never played it before. I actually have no idea like how it's played, what it's about, nothing. I just know that it has Twitch integration and some people are really liking it. So, I figured, oh well, since I want to play more games with viewers on Saturdays, um, or games that are affected by viewers in some way on Saturdays, then maybe we would try this out. So, yeah, if you want to play it with me, go ahead and download that. Even if we didn't get to touch buds with our beloved, the stream was lovely. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, look, Shane, Shane's working through a lot of shit. We've realized Shane's working through a lot of shit, and that's fine. We can be patient. We're a witch. We've been alive forever. <laughs> so we, we can be patient for true love, you know? I own it, but I haven't played it. I'm so curious about it. We can play it together, Jen Page. We can figure it out together. It's your birthday, or is it your birthday, Matuko? Either way, happy birthday or happy birthday, one of those. <laughs> I have a guy in my area who's willing to trade his Sega Saturn lot for my NES lot. Should I go for it? I mean, that entirely depends on you, man. I, I can't make that call for you. I would keep my NES stuff, but that's because I enjoy more NES games than I do Sega Saturn games. So it depends on you and, and what you're looking for, you know? Play Kahoot? What is that? I just got engaged to my girlfriend after five years of dating through high school. Becca Broski, congrats. Congrats, that's awesome. <laughs> Where's the sub gift from? It's from a um, an epic rap battle that I was in. I, for the longest time, because you guys know I've been with Maker forever. I was one of the first, like, eight people in the game station when they started their gaming vertical, right? Like, I've been there forever, and I kept dropping hints, being like, I would love to be in an epic rap battle video. I've done some rapping with Ron. I can do it if you're willing to take a chance on me. Radif, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. But, um, yeah. So I kept being like, hey, you should put me in an epic rap battle. Maybe, you know, if there's a character that I can fulfill, because I know it also has to do with the look. I get that. That's fine. But, like, maybe put me in an epic rap battle sometime. And then finally they called me up one day and they were like, yo, we want you in an epic rap battle. And I was like, holy shit, it's my time. It's my time. I'm so ready. And they wanted me in, like, a split second of their Ghostbusters one. <laughs> I was so sad. I was like, fine. I'll do it. And it was really fun. Like, I, I actually really loved it. But, like, oh, that's okay. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Are you the Bob Ross of chat streams? What does that mean? Welcome, you fine Miss Whiteheart. Or Miss White Art. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you, guys. Welcome and Barry Cotto, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you guys, all of you, for the support. Hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good, of course. Aw, have tree fitty. Thank you so much, JM. 
The Loch Ness Monster is after me. What? It went from... It went from sweet to sad. What color am I? Uh, Null, you are orange. You match your... You match your two yearsy. You match your gold Jotaro. <laughs> the bits. The bits. You missed 10k from who? Hold on, I'm scrolling up. 10k from Idaho Bill! Thank you so much! Oh my goodness! Thank you so, so much. That's gone straight into my... In our wedding fund, thank you for the support. I appreciate that. I need to sneeze. Geek Dreads, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. <laughs> thank you for the support. I hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you so much. My dog is borking so loud. Aw. I just bought the shirt! Thank you, Ike! Yes, guys, it's the final weekend for the death bonus shirt and hoodie. You have like a couple of days left to get it if you're interested in getting it, if you're waiting for a paycheck, anything like that. They're awesome. This is the hoodie. I took it off because I'm a little warm. But this is the hoodie. Doesn't that look fucking cool? <laughs> I love it. It's by an awesome artist named Mike Lawrence. Go and tell him how cool he is. And, um, yeah, the hoodies are super comfy. Sam and I wear them all the time. Go check them out. Go check them out. And, and if you, if you have the dollars and if you're interested, I would love if you would, if you would snag one of those. I'm interested, but I'm broke. I totally understand. I totally understand. <laughs> I'm so conflicted because of the sizing. I know a couple of people who have said that the, the Teespring options for shirts are like too small for them. So I'm sorry about that. That's not really something I can change, unfortunately. 648 from JM and 610 from Graf. Thank you guys so much. And 100 from Kainari. Thank you guys so much for the bits today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Still want a cat gang shirt. I know. We'll do another run of that for sure. What should I name my new pet on WoW? I don't know. Maniacal Clown! Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. It might be too hardcore for me, the design. I also understand that. But I'm a person who likes to have variety. I like to know that when I wake up, if I'm feeling like, man... I really, I really just want to look angry today, <laughs> that I have options there. Dawn of Light, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you so much. Montague? <gasps> Setsuna, you can name it Setsuna. There's that. I'm worried the small hoodie is going to be too big. Um, I'm a fairly- I mean, I'm not, like, wafy, but I'm a fairly small person, and I wear a small hoodie. Um, hold on. I'll put it on for you. Hold up. I'll show you. This is after it's been washed once. Um, but this is the small size hoodie. Ugh. And, like, the sleeves are a little long for me, but I like that. And that's how, how far down it goes. So, if it's, like, for me and how I like to wear clothes, it fits perfect. You know. But I know that some people want a, a bit more form-fitting or, like, yeah. The feeling when you put water in your coffee machine? Oh, when you forget. Oh. No! <laughs> I've done that before and smelled like burning in the air and you're like, what? What is that? 350 from Miss Michelle, thank you so much! Does it have pockets? Hell yeah, it does. It does say Twitch on the side. Some people are like, I don't want that. 
and I get that, but I'm never going to sell it without that. So, <laughs> look, the goof came from Twitch. The death bonus goof, that was, like, born and raised here in this chat, <laughs> you know? Like, that's kind of fun, I think. I'm five foot five. I don't know if the small is just right or too small. I'm five foot, five foot one, and I wear a small. So, <laughs> I don't know how tall I am anymore. I'm like a super, I'm like a super tall person. You know how a lot of times like really, really tall people don't know how tall they are. They're just like, I don't know, I'm six foot and something. <laughs> and a lot of times short people know exactly how tall they are. I don't know how tall I am anymore. Be real. Biggity Jones, thank you so much for the 55. I love everything you do. Thank you. Can you explain the death bonus goof? Um, every time we would... I can't remember when it, like, originally started. But whenever we would play a game where, like, uh, I could name the characters after subs... And then they would eventually die because I'm terrible at games, right? <laughs> Whenever I would I would kill off a bunch of people in a game, um, the the joke started to show up in chat where people instead of saying dex bonus would say death bonus. And then when I would go to other people's chats while they were playing a game, uh, if some of my viewers were in there, they'd be like, "Get out of here! You're gonna jinx them! Death bonus, get out!" <laughs> Did it start with until dawn? That's what it was. Yeah, it was until dawn, that's right. Cuz um got a lot of people killed in until dawn, let's be real. I haven't finished until, uh, not until dawn. I haven't finished Witcher 3, but I have played Witcher 3. I really like it. I, I would love, that's another game where I've thought, oh, it would be really fun to just sit and play that for a really long time on stream. We had a lot of fun, at least I did, had a lot of fun playing Stardew Valley yesterday on stream. I thought that that was great. Some of the people got killed in ways I'd never seen before, so it was impressive. Thank you. Bow. Bow. I just bought the hoodie! Thank you, Demented Siren! I appreciate it! Cardi Valley was so much fun. It was awesome. I'm glad. Yeah. I was talking about it with uh, the mods, specifically free, afterwards, because most of them had gone to sleep at that point, but... Um, yeah, it was just like, it was like a nice, chill environment, you know? Chat was chill, I was chill. Argonaut, thank you so much! Or Argunaut, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Will you ever play Oxenfree? Yeah, Sam and I want to play that together. Who was your waifu slash husband? I missed the stream yesterday. We didn't get him to love us. But we're going for Shane because he's one of the new, like, 1.1 love interests. Um, and so we got lots of very emotional cutscenes. And I was like, Shane! <laughs> I fell asleep before the end of the stream. Rip. Aw. That stream finished at like 5 a.m. for me, so I couldn't watch all of it. I totally understand. But again, my VODs are free to all. My VODs are not behind a paywall. If you would like to watch it, if you'd like to just sit and chill and watch some, some Stardew Valley or have it on in the background while you're cleaning or whatever, feel free. It's there. It's, it's available to everybody. Ike, thank you so much for the resub. Frito for life. Hell yeah. How's that pumpkin spice latte? You know, it's just a pumpkin latte. I'm pretty sure that Starbucks has a has some kind of a copyright on pumpkin, like the phrase pumpkin spice latte now. The first mojo, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Because we went to Coffee Bean 
and I have they have like a rewards app, so I've been using that every time we go, and uh, and yeah, one of my one of my rewards was a dollar off a seasonal drink, and one of their seasonal drinks is just a pumpkin latte. So I was like, cool, I can do that. And then Sam apparently was not paying attention. <laughs> and then when it was handed to me, he was like, what the fuck did you get? Like, I got whatever the fuck I want, because it's delicious. Normally, in the morning, we both get an Americano. I'm quitting smoking, wish me luck, Mutinic. Good luck, you have power. Strength and love from all of the Puritos. My dad smoked two packs a day for like almost his entire life. <laughs> so uh, he has been trying to like cut back for the last couple of years. And it's rough, man. Like smoking is a hard one to crack. So sending you, sending you lots of love. We believe in you. I did help Jesse with with uh, with uh, Rusty Lake. He was he was just he had had too much to drink at that point, and nobody had faith that he was going to figure out that puzzle. <laughs> so I just came in and I was like, "Do this and this," and he was like, "Boop boop," and then it was done. And everybody was like, "Thank God," because apparently he had been on it forever. What do you mean, yuck and Americano? Americanos are delicious. I got I got really into Americanos after going to a few countries where they just didn't have drip coffee. Um, or like a few areas. Like there are areas in England where if you go and ask for just drip coffee, they're like, no. <laughs> Entity Zero, thank you so much for subscribing. Um so I got I got really used to Americanos and at this point I normally get an Americano instead of drip coffee. <laughs> Just your kind of games. Thank you so much for subscribing. Becoming a new member of the cat gang. What's drip coffee? Drip coffee is like um is like the way that a coffee machine makes coffee, right? So you have um you put the the ground up coffee beans in a little baggie inside of the machine and then water and then it heats up the water and the water uh pours through the coffee beans and then drips out into a carafe. Um, that's how most, that's how everybody in America drinks coffee from their home normally. So that's what we're very used to is like the drip form of coffee. Uh, it's called filter coffee. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> An Americano is um, a shot of espresso with water. So that's the difference. Um, I, I love Americanos now, again, but I didn't for a while because they, they had, they just have like a kind of a harsher flavor that I'm into now. Liquid Metal, thank you so much for all the bits. And Xanafan, thank you so much. Americano sounds sad. No, I think it's cool. What was the, what's the lore on that? That like, the lore. <laughs> what's the lore on that? That like, uh, when people from the US Army were in France, right? They really wanted filter coffee or drip coffee, but it didn't exist. And so in France, they were like, all right, we'll try to figure something out for you. And <laughs> just like put espresso and water together and like mix it up. And we're like, here? <laughs> I can't drink coffee, it's too bitter. Um, like, there are a lot of lighter forms of coffee that you can have now. Italy? It was Italy. What am I playing today? After we're done chitty chatting, we're gonna play some Streamline. So, if you would like to play Streamline with me, I've never played it before, I don't know anything about it. 
but maybe we can play it together, assuming it's multiplayer. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just add a buttload of sugar until you get used to the taste. I'm a I'm a two brown sugar person. I used to be a five white sugar person. <laughs> And now I may, uh, have a coffee or an Americano, two brown sugars. Either two brown sugars or one white sugar is how I operate now. Why are you playing it if you don't know it? Because it's, it's, uh, got Twitch integration. And I want to, on Saturdays, I want to focus on games that um, either let chat be involved or let viewers play with me, that kind of an idea. And Streamline is free right now if um, you're a partnered streamer or if you have Amazon Prime and you have your Amazon Prime hooked up to your Twitch. So it seems like, why not? Let's try it together. Streamline, I played that with Gmart. It's some good shit to play with chat. There you go. There you go. Have you played Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator? No, but I watched Sam play it on Wednesday, I think it was, he played it. That was when I was packing up Revlo stuff and doing all kinds of other things. Um, and uh, Sam played Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator for a while, and it was so funny. Like, I thought that that game was not going to have the longevity that it did, but it was really fun to watch for a while. <laughs> do I have a business email? I do. It's press heart to continue with a two. Press heart to continue at gmail.com. Yay, I get to see SMD live. I don't have to watch the VOD. Hello, ghouls. Welcome. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad you're all here. Welcome, guys. How's it going? <laughs> oh, it's not br mm. It's not brown sugar. It's like a brown. It's it's like raw sugar, not brown. Hmm. <laughs> That's confusing. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not brown sugar like you would get in like a in like a bag, like the sugar with molasses. It's not that. It's um. It's like raw sugar, and raw sugar is brown. So it's like a it's like a raw sugar cube instead of a white sugar cube. Is that is that clearer? Welcome, you Kalisa Fox. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you guys. We haven't cheers yet. No. Shall we? Guys, if you've got a drink, if you've got a Beverly, if you'd like to fist bump, whatever you'd like to do. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for joining me on this lovely Saturday morning, or what is, I'm sure, a Saturday evening for some of you. <laughs> and uh, let's let's have some fun. Let's have let's have a, a good little stream here. Three, two, one, cheers. Boop. I was thinking about um but it's, it's almost Halloween and there's no point anymore. But my nails keep... My nails break really, really easily. Like, really easily. And the last time that I got my nails done, the last time I went in and, and had somebody, like, do the shit, right? Uh, I was talking about how my nails are really weak because they break all the time. And she said that my nails were actually really strong. I was like, that's interesting because... They break all the fucking time, right? <laughs> They're like they they rip and they tear and they and they break constantly. So I don't know if it's a if it's a nutrients thing, if there's some some kind of a something that I should be ingesting that would help my nails be stronger, but they've always been like this. Always, 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 right? And I was talking with Sam and I was like, what if <laughs> what if I went in and I just asked her, I asked them, you know how people get those like super pointy nails? Right? They like come out to like here and are just like, Psh! 
like they could kill a guy. I was like, what if I asked them to just make like really tiny ones so that I could still type, but they would just look like fucking like just little like. <laughs> and uh, Sam at this point, I feel like we've been together long enough that Sam at this point just goes, whatever you want to do, honey. <laughs> whatever, whatever you think would be fun. Go for it. <laughs> linseed for nails and hair biotin what is biotin are you engaged i never knew that i am engaged poppy pappy i am that's my that's, that's my engagement ring um sam and i are engaged we're getting married next year Weren't you streaming for 12 hours? Take a break. Oh, I, it was perfect. It was perfect. We started at 9 a.m. We ended at 9 p.m. I went home. We watched one episode of Dragon Ball Super, and then we fell asleep. And I got a full night's sleep, woke up, and I was like, let's do Saturday morning Dugger. It was great. It was perfect. I was actually really, really glad that we didn't do 11 to 11 and instead did, like, a full. I was glad. Get a death bonus manicure. Holy shit, would that fit? D-E-A-T-H-B-O-N-U-S. Fuck! <laughs> How long have I been engaged? I got engaged in December. So. A while. Yeah, I've been engaged a while. Oh, Frisky Sloth, thank you so much for buying a sweatshirt. Are we invited? No. I'm sorry. Did you just do 12-hour streams every day? I think I'd, I think I'd get burned out, guys. I think I'd probably get burned out. <laughs> now you gotta get a death bonus tattoo. Oh shit, the, like, like the fists. But you can't do the five, because, like, you can't, you can't, like, do this with five, right? Like, eh. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Yeah, some people are engaged for years, you know. I ain't hatin'. <laughs> What's with the Beverly? What is a Beverly? That's a joke from when I was in college that I've never let go of, ever. Um, a bunch of us were watching Star Trek, the original series, at the same time. We all got really into it at the same time, for some reason. And Picard always goes, Beverly. And it made us laugh. And when you talk about, like, you could call a drink a beverage, right? And as you all know, I really love to take words and morph them into other words and then just drive it into the ground. So I was, I was busy doing that, right? <laughs> like, trying to turn the word beverage into something else. We were all watching TOS. It turned into Beverly. And that's, it's never, it's, it's stuck. It's stuck in my vocabulary probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Next generation, I mean. I was trying to, for some reason, my brain connected acronym to Next Generation, and I don't know why. Everybody's so offended with me. I'm sorry. You're right. It's Next Generation. Beverly. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> Are we going to play more Stardew Valley today? No, we're going to play Streamline together. What was the proposal like? Oh my gosh, it's been so long that there, there are some like new newer viewers who don't know this story. Uh, I went to visit, because Sam is from England, for those of you who don't know. Sam's from England, so I went to visit Sam for Christmas. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. I went to visit Sam for Christmas. I spend every Christmas over there. And uh, 
he sat me down to to play a thing that he made because he he made like a little visual novel game and he was like yeah i made this just for fun can you can you play it and i was like sure fine and it was a story about two starship captains who met each other um and then had to go on their own missions like in different places but they continued to talk to each other you know like why are there comm systems and whatever and they fell in love and then um one of the starship captains was in distress and needed help and the other one came to save so like it's so like the sam the sam captain in this story was in danger and then i as the other starship captain came to save him and then uh and there were all kinds of like choices and silly things that happened in this game but this is like the the short story of this uh and then um, it, the game prompts, like, like once, you know, the, the battle is over and stuff, the game prompted for him to say something, but there was nothing there. And I turned around and he was on one knee and proposed. And it was really, really sweet. Because he and I were long distance for so long, so it was like a big metaphor for us meeting each other, but then having to be in different places for a really long time. And Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, oh my god <laughs> yeah it was really sweet it was perfect it was like the perfect proposal for me my now girlfriend translated my diary from elvish and found out i was in love with her what? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oof. It's warm again. I'm legit gonna cry. Don't cry. I cried, but you don't have to cry. <laughs> 740 from Cosmic Strider. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Is this press hard to continue? Hell yeah, it is. Welcome. What's up? What's up? <laughs> My artificial sociopathic facade has been shattered. All the feels. <laughs> is Sam's family upset about you polluting his pure bloodline? Whenever people make that joke, I think... I think at least one person in chat is like, what? <laughs> um, Sam jokes because his whole family is very tall and has no allergies. He jokes that because my family has lots of allergies and is very short, that our children are going to be like a strange concoction. <laughs> Laz, 1985, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. How long have you been, or how long have you, are you in a long distance relationship? Me and my girlfriend have been in ours for five years. Um, Sam and I have been together for th three? Four? No. Three? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> By the time we get married... By the time we get married, I think it will have been four years. Something like that. We were in a we were in a, a position where we were able to see each other fairly often, and he was able to get like a work visa for a while and, and live here for a year. So it wasn't it wasn't like one big chunk of long distance. Um, but it still sucked because it was long distance and then living in the same place and then long distance again. It was really hard to go back to it. Taiketo, thank you so much for the wedding bits. I appreciate it. Where are you going to live, America or England? Um, we want to eventually be in England. 
So, but you know, life, life does whatever life wants. I have a lot of friends who have meticulously planned out their lives and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but I've, I've realized that that's just not how my life is ever going to work. Benjamin29, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for becoming a new member of the cat gang. Thank you all of you for the support. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I have, I have friends who are like, okay, at, at this point, I'm going to get married. At this point, I'm going to have kids. At this point, I'm going to have a house. At this point, I'm going to, you know, like they're able to plan it out. And for the most part, it's worked out for them. That's not, that doesn't, that's not how my life works at all. We're going to send you wedding gifts like forks and stuff. <laughs> Just imagining getting like tons of boxes at the P.O. box place and going to pick them up and they're all just filled with forks. <laughs> Be like, stop, no! I bought your dumb sexy hoodie and now I'm broke. Oh, Smash Rooney, I'm sorry, but thank you. I appreciate it. I've survived on the Icelandic motto, things will be all right. Is that an actual motto in Iceland? Because if it is, that's amazing. <laughs> I love the idea of like a huge place where everybody's motto is just, it'll work out. Hakuna Matata. And then you can have a Revlo fork giveaway. Yep. G0MB4, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Thank you guys so much. Would you prefer a microwave? <laughs> My first bits ever. Have them for the weddings. Thank you so much. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I think it's rolling out in more and more countries. You can watch ads to get bits now. You don't have to buy bits, which is pretty rad. You should get Brian Cranston to officiate. Sam really wants The Rock to officiate our wedding. Um, <laughs> I was like, honey, neither of us know The Rock. And he's like, so? Can't argue with that. A house with a thousand forks and no knives. Don't wish that on me. Don't wish that on me. I don't want that life. Get Gmart to do it? Oh, God. <laughs> we don't know the rock yet. That's the way to think about it. That's the way to think of it, huh? If you have Twitch Turbo, I don't think you can watch an ad. Um, I think you can still opt in, because it's not it's not watching an ad on a stream, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. There's like, you like go to a page with an ad and you watch the ad. Yes? No? Funny how all of Co-Optional have or are British Bays. <laughs> yeah, we were actually joking about that. We were like, what happened here? <gasps> thank you for the five bits, Ogre Smash. And thank you, Rukimedes. Rukimedes for the 500. I appreciate it. Use these bits to buy some forks. Damn it, guys, no. <laughs> Calminos, I think maybe you should uh, call a hospital then? Is 
It's only in the U.S. still. Damn. Damn us. Why do we? Why do we gotta control everything this way? <laughs> Thank you, Lou, for the one hundred <laughs> hashtag fork fund. Stop this. Stop this right now. This is not not funny. This is not funny at all. Who would you choose to marry you off? Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Dressed as Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> you retweeted me last night. I woke up to over 300 notifications on Twitter. Oh my god. I've had a couple of friends where they've tweeted something and I've retweeted it because I thought it was funny or like applicable. And then I'll get a message later and they're like, can you not retweet me again, please? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, new Sherlock! That's right! Uh, new Sherlock starts on January 1st! I might still be in England at the time. <laughs> Whoa! Great Burger Prince! Thank you for the 5,000! And Hisa, thank you for 15! Tomlinson, 500! Hawk, 100! Thank you guys so much! Thank you, all of you! I promise all of that is going straight into the wedding fund. I appreciate it. I probably won't spend it on forks, but thank you. <laughs> Graf Von Tyrell, thank you for the 100. A fund for having Dr. Strange officiate the wedding. Great. All of, all of this is going in a good place. I feel it. I know it. No way's anime characters are now my most popular tweet ever. <laughs> I never finished season two of Sherlock. Sherlock, um, Sherlock unfortunately, like, did this for me. The first season, I think, is still the best season of BBC Sherlock. I still like it all, but... Melvo, thank you for the 10, and Decent Gaming, 100, Soggy Money, 90, Flying Fish, 100, Zmart, 200, Kalisa Fox, 1500. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Your dress is gonna be peach-esque colored, yes? Um, my dress- well, what I want- What I want is for the dress to start off white and then for it to fade into, like, a, a peachy orange color. Like a foxtail. <laughs> Bun Bun, thank you for the 15! I'd give you bits, but my daughter is still putting spooky makeup on me. Oh, That sounds really cute. What What is your daughter painting you as? What are you gonna be? Shields girl, thank you for the 30! Yeah, I found, uh... I started thinking about it because I found a dress that was, like, gradient dyed blue. So it started off white and then it slowly faded into, like, a sky blue color. And I was like, that is so fucking pretty. But I would want it to be, like, peachy. So I started looking at a bunch of pictures of, like, just straight up peach colored dresses. So that I could go to my friend and be like, okay, if it was, if it started off white but that turned into, like, this color, could we do that? And she was like, yeah, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> so... Niv- Nivgnis! Thank you for the 100! And Captain Hot Sauce, thank you for the 500! Need those fox forks? That's been the funniest part, is, um... Uh... Everybody who's, like, even remotely part of the wedding has started sending me pictures of things that have foxes on them, being like, You could put this in your wedding. <laughs> Sam's mom, I think, or was it his sister, Welcome sent me a picture of a cake that had, like, little foxes painted on it, and they were like, Huh? Kelpie Girl, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Megaton, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. The wedding is not gonna be live-streamed, no. If, if anything, you guys will see pictures. But I'm not going to put a video up on YouTube. We're not going to stream it. Nothing like that. Oh, 
I want to make you ear cuffs that look like elf slash fox ears. That sounds awesome. Hisa, thank you for the 10. Same, because everyone knows I'm obsessed with foxes. Yeah, Mackenzie. People already sent me fox stuff all the time. I told you guys about last Christmas, right? When I got, like, three different fox scarves. Like, <laughs> because I guess they went to Sam asking, you know, like, what sort of things I was into, what kind of things, like, what jumping off points they would have to get me something. Um, and so they all got me, like, fox scarves. <laughs> and two of them were the same scarf, but different colors. Amazing. Welcome, you fine Jareder30! Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Thank you for the support. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you guys, all of you, for the bits, for the subs. I appreciate it. It's awesome. Zing Zing, you had an awesome Christmas. Yes. Uh, this last time that we were there, his mom got me a candle where the, like, outside ceramic part it has, like, a little fox on it. It's great. I love it. Can someone sign in the guest book, Twitch, since we'll be there in spirit? Hold on. Have you seen many foxes in England yet? We have tons around here. No, um, I haven't seen any foxes in England yet. And people constantly talk about them the same way that we talk about raccoons, right? That they're just these pests that, like, get into your trash and stuff. But I have yet to see a fox. And actually, when I think about it, you don't really see raccoons very often. Unless you create a situation where they come back to the same place over and over again, you know? But do you really like foxes? I do. I love foxes. I absolutely love foxes. There's something awesome about them. I even made a welcome to the fandom about them. <laughs> about how much I love them. Welcome, you Bear Tappy, thank you so much for subscribing! What does your shirt say? It says, Filthy Casual. It's a company. Um, all of their stuff says Filthy Casual on it. And, uh, yeah, they sent me some clothes. I was like, awesome. Because I always see people that I know wearing shirts and hats and stuff that say Filthy Casual on them. And I always think they look so cool. And then I finally figured out it's literally a company called Filthy Casual that makes clothes that just say Filthy Casual on them. And I was like, awesome. <laughs> I've helped set a fox that needed treatment free afterward. Oh! I'm listening to Dodger while cleaning a church! Amazing. I've been everywhere now. I've been everywhere now. Your newest welcome to the fandom was rad. Thank you so much! I'm glad. Fennec foxes are my favorite foxes. Little bitty, bitty babies with giant ears. They're so cute. Little, little desert babs. They're fox-shaped candles, and when the wax is gone, it has a metal skeleton of one inside. What? That sounds rad. Thank you, Raya, for the 15 bits, and thank you, NT Shy, for the 100. Fox wedding! Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only place left is space. We'll get there. Let's do it. I believe. Are you going to do more Welcome to the Fandom? Yeah! Actually, like, like I've, I've started working on a lot. I've said this before, but I have half of a lot of scripts written. Um, but because people liked that one so much and I got such good feedback on what was, what, what people liked about it, um, it made me start to think, like, oh, what are some other topics that would be really fun to tackle, you know? Um, so now I have, instead of three half-written scripts. I have, like, five half-written <laughs> scripts now, so I need to just sit and be like, just finish one, right? A 
I wonder who's going to be the first person to stream from space. Me! Let's do this! Guys, <laughs> I believe. I have faith. <laughs> Thank you, Travi. Here's a start for the Get Dukes in Space funds. Yes. Yes. I love the way we're all thinking right now. You could write scripts for NaNoWriMo. <gasps> for Evil Not Good, that's a fantastic idea. What the fuck? That's a great idea. I totally should do that. Let's do that. Holy shit, let's do that. That's a great idea. Thank you, Visalix, for the 15. And I did it all for the Tanuki for 250. Thank you, guys. Give Elon Musk a call. Be like, yo, dude. Do you want to talk about shit on my show? I wonder... Elon Musk has got to be, like, a super fan of something really weird. Right? Like, he's he's got to be a super fan of something and nobody knows about it. Hot damn. I gotta know now. I gotta call that man up and be like, look. I have a show where I talk about fandoms. What are you into? Tell me all your secrets. Welcome what is NaNoWriMo? Uh, pause. Jerkface, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for becoming part of the cat gang. I hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good. Thank you guys so much. Um, NaNoWriMo is... Uh, National Novel Writing Month. It is um, a, a big thing that people all do together, where in November, uh, they sit and they try to write 50,000 words. It's very difficult. It's, it's, I always have somebody in chat, <laughs> whenever I talk about NaNoWriMo, who's like, I write 50,000 words in like a day. Because <laughs> some of you, you know, write a lot, and that's amazing. Um, as a person who does not write a lot, but thinks it's really fun to write. When I sit down to try and do NaNoWriMo, I always come up super short. Like I maybe make it halfway through. So this year I would love to write the full 50,000 words. Um, and the idea is to write a novel. The idea is to write your first draft of a novel. You're not trying to make a, a like a fully finished product of anything. It's just getting words on paper. That's, that's the idea of the exercise. Um, but I like the idea of, of using it in another way, you know, just 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 taking taking that that energy of like everybody's writing at the same time, just taking that energy and and pumping it into something else like scripts. That would be really cool. It always takes me into December to finish nanos, so don't feel bad. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> So it's Inktober and November for writers. Yes. It's just like Inktober, except except for writers. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Erin, I think, has finished it every year. She's a boss. She also used to write a lot of fan fiction. So she's like, she's always she's always had the writing bug. I haven't always had the writing bug. I did have the drawing bug though. Man, I used to draw I was realizing. You know how sometimes you remember part of your life and you think, whoa, that feels like it happened to a different person. Or like, that feels like it happened in another dimension, right? <laughs> like, uh, when I was in high school, I had a comic that I wrote that a bunch of people read. And I, I totally forgot about that. Like, it, it was like a comic that I drew by hand and then a bunch of people in my high school were reading it and were like really into it. And I was thinking back on it, and I was like, holy shit, that feels like a t different person. Like, a totally different person did that. I loved the 12-hour stream yesterday. Chill as fuck. I'm glad. I loved it, too. I'm saving for a house, so I can't give more, but have my ad bits. Thank you, squeakers. I accept. Um, let us read it. I think I got rid of it. I don't know. I don't know where it is now. I just remember that my main character, not my main character. I did the whole thing where there was the, there was the cast of normal characters. 
And then there was one sort of side character who was like the mascot of the whole thing, but he didn't talk and he wasn't super involved. <laughs> it was weird. But I had a, a, I had a character named Oogie. And he was the first character that I ever made. And he was, oh my god, I wonder if I can still draw him. He was really simple. Um, the whole thing, like, none of it, none of it was highly detailed at all. But it was really, I might still be able to do this. Uh, oh my god, I don't even remember what his eyes were like. <gasps> Wait, I do! Hold on. Holy shit, this was how I drew him. No, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. But that's what his face looked like. <laughs> Except, you know, with a little bit more care. Did you leave the comic on a cliffhanger? It was it was like a newspaper style where every every strip was like four panels and there would be a goof and the goof would always land. Sometimes it would. Um, I had one friend specifically, though, who was, like, she loved it. She thought it was so funny. And it made me feel so good about myself. I was like, you think it's funny? Really? He's adorable. Yeah, he's oogie. And he didn't talk. He had a little sign. And so when people would ask him questions, he would just hold up a sign that would say shit. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I bet we could trick Jesse into writing smut. He'd smash through 50k words in no time. Nah. Fuck, I missed it. It's not good, guys. It's just... <laughs> Here. That's, that's his face. That's it. <laughs> that's, like, kind of what his face looked like. 21 months! Who can? Thank you so much! I can drink now, Grandma Duker! <laughs> Are you gonna do an anime first impressions for this season? I'm not going to. I haven't, like, we're already, what, five episodes in on a lot of shows? Four or five episodes in on a lot of shows? And I've, I've only watched a couple things. Um, unfortunately. So this next season, when this next season starts, <laughs> I'll, I'll be more on top of it. But this, this season specifically, like, really snuck up on me. Hi, Phil! Speaking of Phil, guys, I don't know how many of these are left, but aren't they, aren't they cool? These are up on Revlo for 6,666 per bucks. They're little pins. You can put them on your on your sick jackets or your or your backpacks. Let's see how many of these are left. Five. There are five of them left. You could you could have a little a little do grip. They're so cute. Phil made them. That's that's why I thought of it. <laughs> Yeah, get some dew grips in there. Yeah, I'm um so the ones the ones that I'm watching right now are uh All Out. I'm actually super into All Out now. And then Keijo and Yuri on Ice. I started watching Kiss Him Not Me. Um and I I like the concept, but I don't see how it can sustain, if that makes sense. So, um, I really enjoyed the first couple of episodes, and now I'm like, okay. Uh, what are the other ones? Oh, Nanbaka, I didn't think was very funny. A lot of people told me to watch that. I haven't watched Drifters yet. That's by the same dude who did Helsing, right? I haven't watched Drifters yet. I hear that's great too, though.
Oh, so you're watching exclusively trash with a capital T. Yes, absolutely. I haven't started the new season of Natsume yet. No, I actually forgot that it existed. It's also, it's kind of like with, um, Bungo Stray Dogs. I forgot that the second season of that was happening. I love Drifters. Okay. I'll watch it. Natsume Eugene Show is just, like, precious anyway. So I can't see them making more Natsume Eugene Show and having it, you know, falter at all. Magic Lions, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for the support. I hope you're having a lovely day. Use the emotes for evil, not good. What about witches flying on guns? I haven't even heard of that. Is Zeta? Okay. Good. Yes. What did you think of Gangsta? I fucking loved Gangsta, and we'll never, we'll never get closure. The manga's great, though. If you really liked the Gangsta anime, there's a manga, and it's fantastic. So, go read the manga, because the studio's shut down, and we're never gonna get more Gangsta anime. <laughs> the end of it wasn't even, like, a good end. It didn't feel like a cliffhanger. It didn't feel like anything. It just felt like the middle of a season, and, then, and now it's over. I'm still, I'm still pissed about that. <laughs> I'm still pissed about that. What's a good anime for an anime noob? My wife loved Attack on Titan. I'm trying to find something else she'll love. Um, if she loved Attack on Titan, I would say show her Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's another, like, not too long, but still, like, a, a decent amount to watch. Lots of awesome intrigue with a cool world and fantastic characters yeah sweetness and lightning is great it's uh, fresh so fresh <laughs>